Hello and a warm welcome to CMC Model Cars. My name is Markus Mohn and together with my colleagues I want to tell you something about us, about CMC Model Cars and the models that will take us busy in 2023. As we all know, in addition to the coronavirus, the year 2022 challenged us in a very special way. The whole world was affected and still is. In December 2022, half of our employees in the factory fell ill with the coronavirus and therefore sometimes only half of the team was in production. Engineers and managers from all uh, other departments helped and therefore we achieved to finish and deliver all our Ferrari 275 GTB C. We know exactly the claim behind our slogan. Extraordinary is what defines CMC. Our models are extraordinary and our employees have extraordinary skills. They give their very best to achieve the highest results every day. Extraordinary is also our claim when we develop new models. For example, uh, over 85% of uh, the parts of our new Alfa Romeo P3 consist of metal. This is a new record even for CMC. In total, the car consists of 1805 parts. It is almost uh, normal at CMC that the engine is shown with all uh, secondary uh, elements and the piping and wiring as well. Uh, the wheel suspension is shown uh, with the leaf uh, springs and the shock absorbers as well. The damps uh, consist of several sheets of sheet metal as well as the leaf springs. Everything is functional, of course, at CMC. A particularity of the P3 is the drive shaft that is divided just behind the differential. It's uh, forked in a V-shape way and this enables that the seat can be mounted directly on the bottom of the car in order to lower the center of gravity, which is quite important for a race car. Alfa Romeo is undoubtedly one of the biggest names in the racing world. The Alfa P3, also called Tipo B, is a victorious racing car of the early 1930s. Experts are uh, thinking that it's maybe one of the best racing cars of all time. Great racing drivers as for example Caracciola, Fagioli, Achille Varzi and Nuvolari flew from victory to victory on this car. First of all, we want to present you the Tazio Nuvolari winner set. Tazio Nuvolari in 1932 had several victories on that car. For example, with uh, start number 12, he won the Grand Prix of France. With uh, start number 30 in the middle, he won the Coppa Ciano. And finally, with the number 8, he won Coppa Acerbo. The first model that will be released out of our P3 series is the one with uh, start number 8. This car represents the winner car of the Grand Prix Italy. Nuvolari won that race in 1932. The model will be followed by start number 2. This car was raced by Rudolf Caracciola at the Grand Prix of Germany at the North Schleife from the Nürburgring. The next two cars were run by Caracciola with the first car and start number six. He was uh, the winner of the Grand Prix Monza Italy and uh, with the start number 95 he succeeded at the Klausenhill race in Switzerland. A special element of those two cars are the exhaust uh, pipes. You see they seem like burnt metal. The P3 did not only win races in Germany and Italy, but also in France. For example, with those two cars, pilots uh, succeeded and won races. Uh, as for example, with uh, start number 42, it was Chiron who uh, has won the Grand Prix from uh, Marseille in 1933. And uh, his colleague Fagioli won the Grand Prix Comanche in the same year. In 1932 or 1933, Alfa Romeo had financial problems, a thing that we know up to now. Uh, and uh, this is the reason why the racing activities of Alfa Romeo have been uh, shifted to Ferrari. Ferrari took over all the activities. And this is also the reason why the cars from that moment on could have painted or sticked the branding horse on the front hoods. This car uh, with start number 12 was the winner of the Grand Prix 
Italy in 1933 and the driver was Fagioli. We are very proud uh, to present you also this cutoff model of the uh, Alfa Romeo P3 because it does not only show the geniosity of the construction and design of Vittorio Giano. For example, we can see the forked drive shafts which go to the rear uh, wheels. We can also see the other technique as well, uh, the dampers, the springs, etc. And it's also, I think, a good sign of what we are able to achieve at CMC. And it's a, a good example for what our boss means when she says that a model from CMC is also nice under the surface. Hi, today we'd like to introduce the different versions of the CMC Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Ulmhaut Coupé. Let's start with the item number M076, which is the unlimited version of the Uhlenhaut Coupé with the red interior. This model is already available from stock. The next available model will be the item number M243. This model does have a blue interior. The other differences are the fuel filler neck, which is led through the rear window and it's got a bigger fuel tank. This model is also an unlimited version. Let's come now to the two racing versions of the Uhlenhaut Coupé, which are both based on the model with the blue interior, the item number M243. The first of both is the item number M244, which was driven by Rudolf Uhlenhaut itself at test drives for the Grand Prix in Sweden. The second race version is the item number 245 with the starting number 15. It was driven at the test drives for the Tourist Trophy in Ireland in 1955 by Earl Berge van Trips. Following our company philosophy we intended to also improve something when doing our re-edition of the Uhlenhaut Coupé. By redesigning the shape of the wing doors, we were able to optimize the gap dimensions. The door now sits much better and flush in the body. The tiny mirror bases and holders previously were made of plastic. Now, after uh, several attempts, we changed them also to a copper alloy, so they are cut of metal and are much more resistant. We improved also the front grille of the Uhlenhaut Coupé. With the beginning of 243, we bended the ends of the central uh, struts a little bit more uh, downwards, so the shape uh, still corresponds more to the original. We also improved the Mercedes star on the back hood. Even if there was no need and no complaint by customers, it was our claim to improve that single piece. Previously, it was made out of aluminum, then we made several attempts with uh, stainless steel, but finally we arrived at a copper alloy and only this alloy permits uh, to have a really sharp edges of that logo and uh, to have uh, with a special coating uh, a durable shining surface also. A thing that is important for collectors is how to recognize first and second edition. For example, at the bottom here uh, from the old edition we have the old logo and the re-edition presents our embossed new oval logo. As a further novelty for 2023, we will introduce you a new series of the well-known and very demanded CMC Ferrari 250 GTO. We will make six right-hand drive models and four pieces with left-hand drive. More information about limitations, variants, drivers and owners you will find on our website.